Good morning, soon to be diamonds. Welcome to day 18 of our Push to Diamond group. Today we're going to talk a little bit more about recognition and we've discussed this before and how important, super, super important it is to recognize your coaches. Um, something that I started doing maybe like four months ago, just recently, that I think has made a big difference with the relationship and with connecting with my new coaches is that I sent all of my new coaches and the compound effect book and then a little handwritten notes where I just say, you know, welcome to the team. I'm so happy and pumped that you decided to take the leap of faith. This business has changed my life and I know it can do the same for you. I'm sending you this book because not only did it change, help my business, but it helped my personal life and I hope it does the same for you. I can't wait to see where this business takes you and all the lives you're going to touch. I just say something like that and I send them the book and the reaction I get from coaches is very, very heartwarming and they, you know, they, they, they thank me, they take a picture of the note in the book and they tag me on Facebook and I really feel like that sets off a great start because I know sometimes I rem yeah, I know sometimes some coaches are iffy even after they signed up. And so I think getting this small gift, getting this welcome note, hopefully makes them feel more comfortable about their decision, that they feel like, okay, I did the right thing, I joined the right team. So, and that you don't even have to buy a book, it can be just the note, a welcome note. Um, I think especially nowadays with email and technology, you don't get a lot of handwritten notes anymore. And so that's just a little something that I do that works for me and I feel like it has helped make my team stronger and made our team more of a family team as opposed to just strangers who I met on Instagram because a lot of my coaches do come from like Instagram or, or social media that I don't personally know and so I think building this trust and building this relationship with them right away helps them to feel more comfortable to want to join the business to want to to do what I recommend them do and just to want to be awesome so you know some of the things that recognition accomplishes is that you know it increases positive feelings about beach body and so it sets the standard of performance of your team. You set a, what is that word? I'm trying to think. You set a culture in your team of positive, positivity and of encouragement and of welcoming and of recognition. When someone gets recognized, that's, for me personally, that's a big deal. And it makes me want to keep doing the things that I'm doing to be recognized more, or just to know that I'm making my upline proud and I'm making my upline um, happy. So, and it doesn't have to always just be, be oh, for Success Club, because not every coach, especially new coaches, achieve Success Club right away, but the first two points, the first point they get, if they're at three points, celebrate them. If they're at four points, celebrate them. If they get it to five, then super celebrate them. If they start their first challenge group, recognize them. If they sell their first program, recognize them. Always, always be looking for ways to recognize your team, especially for rank advancement. That is a huge one. You definitely want to make them feel proud. You definitely want to make them feel like they accomplished something huge because they did. It also builds their self-esteem and it retains coaches. Not all the time, but... I have noticed a difference from the coaches that I sent the books to compared to the coaches that I didn't. And I definitely am retaining more coaches now than I did um, previously. And if you're one of my first coaches, I do apologize for not being the leader that I am now. I was new. This was something that I was new at and trying to work at. And along the way, I've improved and I've 
found techniques like sending the book or starting coach basics that I didn't used to do. So I don't blame it on them. You know, the coaches that joined me and are now either not on the team or they're just not actively engaged. I really blame it on myself because I could have been a better leader and I could have been doing the things I do now. I could have been doing it then. But anyways, sorry, went off on a whole spill there. Um, I do notice a difference between the coaches that I feel I build a more relationship with now as opposed to the ones that I did not back when I first started. And I know some of them are still with me and that means a lot to me because they've stuck with me and they've trusted me and that just shows a lot about them really. So it encourages people to stretch and accomplish more. If you're recognizing them, they're going to want to repeat those actions every day so that you can keep recognizing them or they can just keep growing. It creates a, an atmosphere and fun. Um, it helps people per perform to their potential. I and mean, as you build your team, you know, take the time to develop a plan for recognition. Be sure you consider what you want your program to accomplish. For example, if you want to foster a recruiting atmosphere on your team, recognize recru recruiting with support. Um, you know, like I do, Every time one of my personally sponsored coaches signs a coach, I went on pickmonkey.com and I created a, you know, congratulations, new coach sign up, custom um, little graphic so that in every time I put them, either my coach's name on them, if you, see, you guys see me use that, I have that saved so that every time one of these coaches signs in the coach. I already have it saved and I just post it on our wall. I think it's very important, especially for recruiting because we want our team to grow. And so the more coaches they recruit, the more successful they are and the more successful we are. Um, and then I also recognize obviously for success club points, but you know, just keep it simple. Um, Let's see, consider how you can include all of your coaches, not just the top performers. This is especially crucial for new coaches because new coaches aren't going to be accomplishing what your top performers coaching coaches are. So this is where the little things that are important to be recognized come into place. And um, you don't always have to buy things. Like I said, you can recognize with just a a welcome note. Um, I got an idea yesterday from Brigitte Langford. What she does is once a month, she puts all her coach's name in a, in a, in a box or in a hat and she draws two and she just simply, simply sends them in a, a, hi, I'm thinking about you handwritten note. Thank you for all your do. Um, make it personalized. Obviously, if you want to accomplish something they personally did, or if it's a coach that maybe has kind of lost momentum or lost encouragement, then you want to just say, you know, hope you're doing well. I'm so glad you're still with us. You're so glad you're on our team. I thought that was a fantastic idea. And I'm thinking about starting to do that. I know some other coaches do coach of the month. Um, and they get a big shout out on social media. That's another option that you can do. Obviously, some of you are just starting your team, but these are ideas that hopefully you will implement when you do have your team, which will be soon. So um, for assignment today, just share three ideas of what you want to recognize and how will you do it when you start to build your team or if you're already doing it, how do you recognize your coaches? Is it privately? What, you know, what do you recognize them for, et cetera. All right, guys, thank you, and we will talk tomorrow.